Following a rare working weekend in the Senate, lawmakers stayed up all night debating whether to approve a military and humanitarian aid bill. But opposition from the House may mean the effort is all for nothing. Amy Liu is in our Washington Bureau with what's expected next for this bill. The Senate voted on a bipartisan basis to approve the foreign aid bill. The final 70 to 29 vote came early this morning, approving $95 billion in aid to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. Leaders remain committed to pass it despite an all night marathon of speeches on the floor from Republicans demanding changes to the border, despite rejecting a bipartisan proposal doing so last week. The lack of border security provisions may spell doom for the bill when it reaches the House. Speaker Mike Johnson came out against the $95 billion bill overnight, calling it silent on the most pressing issue facing our country. With the strong bipartisan support we have here in the Senate with this vote, I believe that if Speaker Johnson brought this bill to the House floor, it will pass with the same strong bipartisan support. The vote shows the divide between moderate Republicans and those loyal to former President Donald Trump. Moderates say failing to act puts America's global security and standing at risk, while conservatives are digging in over the border and not adding to the debt. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu. And Oklahoma's senior U.S. Senator James Lankford saying this morning that lawmakers need to instead focus on the U.S.-Mexico border. In a statement, he said, quote, I believe we should support our allies, but we cannot secure the borders of other nations while ignoring the massive crisis at our border. Other Oklahoma senators, U.S. Uh, Mark Wayne Mullen, excuse me, saying he voted no on that bill because, quote, Chuck Schumer refused to allow us the opportunity to improve this legislation and give it a chance of passing the House. We'll continue to follow this bill as it goes to the House and bring you the latest updates.